welcome to Talent Sprint. I am Rohit and here is your daily dose of aptitude skills. In this video, we shall discuss about compound interest or I should rather say compound interest made simple. Now here is a question which says what will be the compound interest on rupees 5000 for 2 years at the rate of 12% per annum. I am sure all of you know how to solve this question, right? There is a standard formula which can be used. All you need to do is substitute the values at the right places, do the calculation to arrive at the right answer. What is the formula? Compound interest is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to the power of T minus P. Or if you take P common, we get 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power of T minus, minus 1, all right? So this is the formula that we use for the calculation of compound interest where P is the principal amount, R is the rate of interest and T is the time period. So principal in the given question here is 5000, right? The time period is 2 years and the rate is 12 percentage per annum. So like I said, just substitute the values in any of the formula and simplify it to get the right answer. But you know what the complexity is doing the calculation here and that is because of this complex formula that we have, right? 5000 into 1 plus 12 by 100. Now 1 plus 12 by 100 is 112 by 100 which can be simplified as 56 by 50. 56 by 50 whole to the power of 2 which means 56 into 56 upon 50 into 50. So that uh, makes it a little complex and anyway you will you know you will be able to simplify this and arrive at the answer but that would take easily about uh, you know 60 to 75 seconds and because uh, the given values here are not really complex. You can get it in about 60-75 seconds. But then a smart student would not do this. Let us just forget about the formula. What is important is not the formula but what happens behind the formula there. Now, if you know or if you go by the concept, you will be able to solve this question in about 10 to 15 seconds at best. Now the concept here is as follows. See, compound interest is nothing but the effective of the two percentages. What are the two percentages here? The rate of interest in the first year and the rate of interest in the second year, right? So compound interest can be taken as effective percentage. And how do we get effective percentage? Like we have discussed in one of our earlier videos, effective percentage can be taken as A plus B plus AB by 100 percent, where A and B are the two percentages. Now this is a very important concept, the concept of effective percentage which can be used for solving various types of questions of which compound interest is the one. So what are A and B here? The rates of interest for the first and the second year. Now in the given question, it says 5000 rupees for two years at 12% per annum, which means each year the rate of interest is 12%. So rate of interest for the first year is 12 and for the second year as well, it is 12, right? So A is equal to 12 and B is 12. So let us just substitute the values a and B here and find out what is the effective percentage which is the compound interest. So what do we get here? 12 plus 12 plus 12 into 12 upon 100 percent. I am sure you need not put on paper for doing this calculation here, right? Very simple. 12 plus 12 is 24. 12 into 12 is 12 squared which is 144 upon 100. Now 144 upon 100 is 1.44. So 24 plus 1.44 is 25.44 percentage. So this helps us arrive at a conclusion that the compound interest for two years at the rate of 12 percent per annum is going to be 25.44 percent. Now the question that arises here is 25.44 percentage of what? 25.44 percentage of the given principal amount. Remember that in case of compound interest and also in case of simple interest, all the percentage calculations must be done with respect to the principal amount which is 5000 in the given case. So we can say the compound interest here is going to be 25.44 percent of 5000 and if you are strong in your calculations, you can you know do this calculation very easily 25.44 percent, right? 25 percent of 5000 is 1200. 0.44 percentage of 5000. How do you do that? This is like 0.44 divided by 100 into 5000. So just simplify that, you will get 72 here. So this comes out to be, you will get 22 there. So 1250 plus 22 is 1272. So that is the final answer. So we can say the compound interest here is 1272. So very simple, just look at the percentage, uh, the rate of interest and the given time period, right? Let's say for example, the rate is 7% per annum. So what will be the compound interest for two years? 7 plus 7 
plus 7 into 7 by 100, which is 14 plus 0.49, 14 14.49% of rupees 5000. And if you follow our speed math techniques to do percentage based calculations, you will be able to simplify this in about 3 to 4 seconds. So, altogether, you will be able to solve a question on compound interest in 10 to 15 seconds, which is otherwise not possible if you go by the formula. So, this is how you can make your compound interest calculations simple by using the concept of effective percentage. I hope all of you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this and do subscribe to our channel to get more such videos on quantitative aptitude techniques. See you in the next session. Thank you. Today I am going to take you through the heteronyms. Heteronyms are the words which are spelled the same but the pronunciation differs and because the pronunciation is different, the meaning also is different. The, usually one is called as noun and the word, other one is a verb. Today's session we will be focusing on pronunciation of some difficult words because pronunciation is an important aspect or the most important aspect when you try to convey.